Ghana is at high risk of debt distress. The CD has depreciated against the U.S. dollar. This has increased the country's foreign debt by $6 billion this year alone, and inflation hitting a record 40.4% in October. Government proposed expenditure cuts, a freeze on government hiring, and a hike in the VAT by 2.5% in the 2023 budget. The country to buy oil using gold rather than U.S. dollars. If you produce oil and you are serious about cushioning your citizens, then one will think you cannot get a cheaper oil than the one you are selling. An energy analyst, Dr. Yusuf Suleimana, warns the move, use gold to buy oil, has the potential to destroy Ghana's downstream petroleum sector. On the surface, I think it could work, um, especially if you have huge uh, gold reserves, which I, I doubt whether we do have. We continue to use so much money, about 450. A million US dollars on a monthly basis to import finished products. If there's an opportunity and a credible source to be able to lessen that burden on our dependence on the hard currency through a better trade, why not? Um, however, um, what, where we need to look at is we don't use a temporary situation to, you know, to, to, to stampede or distract an industry that has helped, that has kept the downstream side in this situation without filing for quite a long time. He is of the view adding value to the country's crude will help in the economic recovery process. Value to the raw material in terms of crude oil at your downstream side, you shape yourself up from the pressures of the downstream because as long as oil prices are going up, the downstream side, the pumps are going to burn out, and that's actually what is happening. Drastically, when oil prices are dropping, you have to you lose revenue in the upstream, uh, you know, and exporting the oil may not end you anything, but adding value to it will end you much. If you don't have a refinery, you only end up exporting your oil very cheaply. The other most important reason having a you know, local refinery is the stability of your local currency. Market confidence is very low as Ghana negotiates with the IMF for a $3 billion deal to help restructure the economy.